Welcome back friends this is Ram here and it's 25th tutorial on JavaFX 8. In this tutorial we are going to see how to refresh a table after adding a new user. Or in this in the previous tutorials we have seen how to add new users in the table and list view combo box so there is a one problem with the the table when we load a table it always add another list elements that is observable elements into the list and it becomes overloaded so when we add click on load table it added another elements into the table so we are going to refresh this always and it whenever a new user added it will show the only added user that is the only it will display only once so let's start with that it's a 25th tutorial on refresh table so in this tutorial I'm going to refresh the table whenever we add a new user or click on load tables so first of all I'm going to cut this observable list and add into the main class so it will be available for all the classes now next I am going to create one class of refresh table so say public void refresh table and first of all I'm going to clear the list so whenever we refresh the table it automatically clear the initial list elements and add newly added the elements so we have cleared the list so this is the list which we have created during the table to add the elements into the table so we have cleared this list now next I am going to refresh the table so to do that I am going to copy try catch block from the load table button so I am going to cut this and add into a refresh table class so the error is because of we have to declare the table in the main application so that it can be visible or accessible to all the classes so I am going to add this table to below this observable list and save this so the 
error is gone so the first is we have cleared the data that is the list elements from the observable list then we have added this try catch block from load table where we have fired a query and with the query add add the users which are in the database so th those users we are going to add in through the the observable list and this list is added again back to the table so you can refer the tutorial for the load table button action method for the database now next I'm going to add this class to the load table So I'm going to paste this class into the load table. So whenever we click on the load table, it automatically refresh the table. So let's check once. So the initial username password for this application is Ram Ram. Or now. Whenever we click on load table, it it will only import the contents that is only once. Or uh, the it and one more thing is whenever we add any user, for example, uh, ID with nine say nine. A, B, C, say X, Y, Z, so A, A, B, C, at the gmail dot com, say username A, B, C, password A, B, C, say date of birth, something 12, 10, 2010. Now whenever we add a new user, it has to be refreshed automatically. So whenever we added any user, so it's not refreshing. So I'm going to add that refresh class into the save action method, save button action method. So I'm going to copy this and add into a save so whenever we call a set on action method for save whenever we create a new user it automatically refresh the table so let's check for it whether it is working or not So I am going to add another user say first of all load the table so it is the the list elements in the table so it's working with the load table now we are going to check for the save say user 10 say xyz last name a b c email say xyz at the rate gmail dot com username say xyz as what same xyz or I will give a random date say 02 2008 and save so 
here you, we can see that whenever we added any new user it automatically refresh the table now this is the user recently which we have added xyz so in this tutorial we have seen how to refresh table firstly we have added the observable list into the main tutorial for extended application program then we have added table view in in the same below the observable list then we have created a field combo box oh sorry refresh table where we have cleared the list initial elements in the list then we have added the new elements from the database to the list and then this list elements are added into the table and next this refresh table we have added in the load table and load table button and save button action so this is the save button action method where we have added a refresh table to ref refresh whenever we add a new user in the list so here is the load table so this is tutorial about refreshing a table whenever we added a new user in the program or application so if you have any query about this tutorial or, or doubt you can ask me in a comment section or you can mail me on alapureram at the rate gmail dot com this is my mail id and finally if you really like my work please like share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching this video see you in the next tutorial